Roll with the fever on the dance floor Now who got the fever for the flames? Who can beat the way that I flex? On the track, I'm pushing rampage Ricky Rick on point with the knife I style for my left That be rolling the mad joints Just put your hands in the air Cause there's a party over here So grab yourself a beer And we can get our FIFA on I'm with it, so let me put my big brown FIFA on I'm coming with the disco, I can flip so I'ma drop a solo tip Something for the honeys in the crowd Let me hear it, so I can turn the party out Till tomorrow afternoon Cause when I grips my skills, no one leaves the room So tell me can you feel the Mass skills coming with the FIFA, FIFA, FIFA Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Unsung Heroes. My name is Rick Reinhardt, and I'm here today to talk about Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers has just passed away. He was one of the best workers in the history of the wrestling business, no doubt about it. Uh, he came in at a certain time period where uh, a, a person like him would be able to work a lot, but also there was a lot of competition and a lot of talent in the wrestling business at that time. Uh, Tracy Smothers... Uh, I caught a lot of his shows in ECW. Uh, I remember the FBI coming out to uh, a, a predominantly Italian neighborhood and doing that FBI full-blooded Italian gimmick. And uh, with that entrance, man, I had to listen to that song the whole way through, man. I had to let it play for y'all just so y'all get the flavor, man. Um, but what I got to say about all this is Tracy Smothers, uh, great worker from down south, uh, really worked that Southern wrestling style. Uh, came up to ECW. There's an interview here on the Pro Wrestling Archives with the Blue Meanie, and he says that Tracy Smothers was the, was the unsung hero of ECW. 
and um, you know it, he that he was looked looked amongst as a legend in the locker room. And, you know, he was there for a pretty long time, man. I mean, I don't really remember Tracy leaving, but I think that uh, near the end they they had, you know, little Guido was, was just coming into his own. And, uh, you know, I know that there were some other guys that came around in the full blood of the Italians later on. But uh, I caught some of Tracy's matches in his younger years. He was one of those guys that you would see around. But you wouldn't uh, like like th- there was a lot of guys in the old WCW days that you would see come through. Like you would see Shane Douglas come through. Um, who else would I would I think of when I think of this generation? I would think of Tracy Smothers. Uh, you know these these guys that were in the mid card, but that could work and were you know very much wrestling people. Uh, it's like when you got a really good baseball team or something like that, and a really good hitter is hitting like six or seven. Uh, it's it's something along those lines with how the booking was being done back in the day. Um, Tracy Smothers spent a lot of time in Smoky Mountain wrestling with Jim Cornette. And a uh, big shout out to Jim Cornette, uh, the motherfucking Machiavelli, the Don of pro wrestling today. Uh, better than all the wrestling going on on TV. Just check out Jim Cornette's podcast, man. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. There's just there's a lot to talk about. The old ECW days, man. Down at the arena, uh, Tracy would come out dancing. The whole place would start dancing with him and shit like that. And I- 